LGB correspondent, David Cuttings, is on the show. Yeah. Round of applause. This is sports seg segment two. Hi, Dave. Hi, Kyle. Jesus. <laughs> you look like a clown reject. What'd you fuck, man? Holy fuck. Uh, thanks for setting me up with Horvath. Yeah, you're welcome. How did it go? It was a nightmare. <laughs> Have you guys ever had a hand job from a guy with a hook? <laughs> and a tentacle. Yeah, it's the fucking worst. <laughs> The tentacle was interesting. It was fun. Okay. So how's it going? Good. Oh, I'm good. Slightly nervous. It's totally fine. I uh, decided that I'd make a list of things that are popular in the gay community in Calgary. The first being this haircut. All you gotta do is go to a barber or a hairdresser anywhere and ask for the Macklemore. Shave one side, carve a part in, it'll be great. You'll look like everyone else. The uh, second thing you should probably do if you're a gay man is get grinder. Who here knows what grinder is? Raise your hand. That's frightening. Some women raise their hands. Don't go on there. Jesus. So, are you familiar with Grinder? I know of it. You know of it? Okay. Kyle? I'm all over it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. This is what I hear. So, Grinder basically, for those of you who don't know, is a social app for gay men. You put your height, your weight, what you're into, the type of people you want to see, and you usually acquire a lot of dick pictures from people. They just take yeah. of their junk. You have to make sure when you get a grinder profile that you have some of your own or some decoy that you can send as like courtesy if you kind of like the person just a little bit. It's super important, okay? So make sure you do that. Yeah, write it down. Yeah. Dick pics. Yeah. The other thing is you have to talk about Beyonce a lot. That's number three. You have to know your favorite song, your favorite performance, and you have to like have like some sort of like Beyonce move ready on the fly anytime you hear it in a grocery store anywhere. Just to like prove a point. What's that? No, no, it's okay. The Hulk. Never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's Logan's go-to move, the Hulk. The Hulk. <laughs> I just, <laughs> it's okay. I know the Snap Boys are super intimidating. Okay, sorry. I'll keep to the script. Um, <laughs> um, and for lesbians, you have to make sure you break up a lot. Not seriously. You just gotta like break up, like get into a fight, and go sleep on someone else's couch for a night. Like a minimum of four times before you like actually make it serious. Um, because let's just face it, lesbians are like stamps. Lick them once and they stick forever. Is that offensive? Yeah. No offense? So, yeah, sorry. Um, so. The NHL today, no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna talk about the lesbian and gay agenda in 2015. Woo! So the lesbian agenda is to take people on more guilt trips, which is fantastic, because I hear guilt trips are, they're wonderful when you're in a Subaru. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. And I love going on trips. <laughs> You're on a trip right now. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? Um, I'm pretty. You're the new face of Maybelline. <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> What's that? Maybe. Um, maybe so. she's born with it. Maybe not. <laughs> no, no. You definitely dumped that on his head. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, so for the last two years, the gay agenda has been to get married. That was the big one in the United States. Canada's had it for a while. Yes. Awesome. The gay agenda in 2015 for gay men is to now get divorced. It's super important that we have the same rights as everyone else for that. Now, there's things in the gay community that aren't being done, and these are super duper important. The first one is gabies. Who knows what gabies are? Kyle, do you know what gabies are? I had gabies. No, no, that was rabies. It's gabies. 
No, no, I'm pretty sure. Gabies, babies, scabies, rabies in the, in the 80s. <laughs> Gross. Okay, so a gay bee is when two gay men or two women have a baby. And we don't have that a lot here. And uh, I think it's important. It's the cutest thing in the whole entire world. <laughs> the other thing that we don't have is we don't have a gayberhood. And a gayberhood. <laughs> a gayberhood. It's like a place, you know, where the streets are lined with flags and there's male prostitutes and. <laughs> People are hanging out, and you go down dark alleys for a reason, not just to walk home. No, no, no. Well, the gabies live in the gayborhood, but the wholesome side. Yeah, totally. I figure all Calgary needs to do is throw up some rainbow flags in Kensington, and they'll flock. Can we start this? Can you guys get out the tweeters and twat this? Okay. I have a million dollar idea, and it's a, it's a lesbian form of grinder, and I'm gonna call it Scissor. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. Kyle, you were telling me about that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, actually. it was. Yeah. 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 I, try, I, I, look, I tried to look it up, but it just redirected me to the Home Depot webpage. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it made me say that's as far as we've that's as far as we've gone. It redirects you to the Home Depot webpage, and then when you give your email, it emails you date ideas, which are basically like IKEA furniture instruction guides. Woo! Yeah, it's awesome. It's fantastic. Yeah. So that's all I have for my segment. Correspondent, David Cunningham. Fantastic. You did a great job.